Alright, so an update and just inform you. These here are nickel plated without being polished. Nickel, 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 nickel. This Camaro here is zinc plated and then coated with lacquer so that's zinc this guy over here is copper but I have found out that don't try to do copper plating on anything that has or any plating at, actually that has a wing you can't get underneath there and clean it or polish it or buff it but it looks pretty cool now I've done all these in zinc and then I polished them cleaned them zinced them again polished them again cleaned them again now these two I just finished polishing and they look really dark well I haven't washed them off yet there's my polish polish cream metal polish cream that I've been using All right. now I'm going to wash these two these have actually been done twice and the other five have only been done one time I'm going to see if electroplating them twice makes any difference so let's go clean these up I'll be right back ta-da! I'm back here we go now they don't look a lot better, but yeah, they do. Let's see. Without buffing. With buffing. And here's a piece 99.8% pure nickel that I've used. And these are shinier than this. Now these just need to be polished up you can see it's even even the um, the zinc comes out gray but you polish it up looks like this here Camaro comes out pretty good not as good as I want so why am I doing all this all right well nickel will not stick to a Hot Wheels. Zinc will. And then nickel sticks to zinc. Copper does not stick to a Hot Wheels. Copper does not stick to zinc. Copper does stick to nickel. So, and they've got to be impeccably clean very very clean so I got these two three four five six seven to polish up I've got the boss my first successful copper electro plating and you know I use this guy right here so I can buff it up now I used to have a Dremel 3000, but now I got a Benford 5000. Oh, 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 oh. More power. Oh. All right, back to here. All right, these don't have to be shiny, shiny like this guy. This guy is zinc. That's about as shiny as I'm going to get them. I got a lot more, uh, seven more of those. These are nickel, they don't have to be shiny shiny. 
you just got to make sure you got nickel all over the place and then copper will stick to it and if you didn't do it right you'll know right away it's an acid wash I'm waiting for a flash copper electroplating kit um, travel restrictions delivery uh, restrictions are very strict on that stuff I got eight ounces coming cost me over fifty dollars uh, twenty bucks in travel so we're gonna get all these and these are going to be the copperheads. The copperheads. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. RTR and commotion diecast. Better watch out. I'm coming your way, buddy. Yeah, let's see. Got to buff these up and take them all out. Oh, I got some cool buffing wheels, too. Anyways, you probably all got your own little buffing wheels and stuff. They got these, they got these, they got these yellow ones. They got these hard ones. I use this one already. This is hard, this course. So, anyways, thanks for watching. If you like, uh, please subscribe. Right? Right. And uh, like and notify. And if you want to know more about doing electroplating, oh, let me show you this. Yeah, the power of video. This is my zinc plating solution. Right here, here's zinc. It gets eat up really fast, it's very soft. Here's my nickel. Nickel is really hard. Can't really bend this. You gotta be careful, you gotta cut your fingers. Well, yeah. Everywhere. But nickel is green. Surprisingly, copper is blue. But that's zinc, that's copper. I mean, that's nickel. That's zinc. I'm getting excited here because I'm almost done with my stuff. Alright, thanks again. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And ask questions. I'll be happy to answer them. Have a great night. Bye. Oh, oh, oh. Who's going to bail us out of jail this time? Call my mama. She works at Titty City. They got shut down. Oh, crap.